Last week on Turn of the Tide. You're not in my idea, too. How do you think it's looking to see you sleeping half the night by then? Nothing can happen to share with you in time. Keep your mouth out of this. I'm talking about how it's looking. I would like to know why you come here. Is it to escape the boredom of my life? I'm not married. Then may I ask why you come? Have you been deliberately avoiding me? Or is it that we just don't run into each other? Why should I want to avoid you? Maybe you're afraid? Of you? That the old magic would start all over again? My dear Millie! Conrad! So good of you to come. My nephew's getting married. I consider it an honor to be asked to give him away. Yeah. So where you come from? I hear about tiny big wedding. So I said, let me come up and give you So how long you intend to stay? Just a few days. Last time you come for two days, you end up spending two months. Like me. I just have to get up early to see about my animals. After the amount of liquor you put away last night. <laughs> I doubt whether I'd get up in time for the wedding. I was not no liquor, boy. Me is a man accustomed putting away real liquor every day. Is that keeping me alive? I see like you didn't touch more than a few drops. I'm not much of a drinker, you know. Well, you got to make up your mind to do some serious drinking today. Last night was the bachelor night. Today is the wedding. What I mean is, last night was the smoke. Today is the fire. And when you see your wife couldn't make it day, you're going to be bad like a crab when you put two liquor in your liver. And have a few gallons of bushroma put away for my people. When you fire two of that so, ha oh boy, the woman in the wedding going to be in trouble with me. I really don't know how lucky I'd be. You're going to have plenty of women in the wedding. All you have to do is pick one and make your play. And if you get in any trouble, call my name. So you use my family, and it will get you. But I had to watch Tiny. You know who she is? Tiny, she like she lives in a world separate to me. She might tell my wife. Tiny might be a fool in many ways, but I don't think she's that stupid. Time to wake up, Ron. You want everybody to see you sleeping on the ground? Why did you put your little lips? How you wake up so early, Charlie? You miss Betty or what? Me, Miss Betty. I always up early. Joshua, you didn't have time this morning to stand up and talk stupidness. It have plenty work to do today. Tea ready yet? Yeah? It on the fire. I don't know how I gonna make out today. I had to decorate the place, cook two pot of food, make a set of sandwiches. And if they're talking as though they didn't have nothing to do? We all had to collect the ice for the ice cream. Me, Boxer and Clem, go see body bar. I'm willing to help in whatever way I can. You was always a clumsy fella, Charlie. You were just getting the way. Ron? Ron? You going back to sleep? Don't forget you had to collect the firewood. Teresa get up yet? Well, wake she up. She had to go by the seamstress and she had to go by the hairdresser. 
I don't know how I go survive to be. Just take two shot of Bushong. Joshua Walker, you always talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going and eat and then change my clothes. And when I'm done, I'm gonna fix up this bad thing. I think I'm ready. Eat something first, though. That has something solid downstairs to balance the liquor. <laughs>